In this video, let us continue to solve problems based on grouped frequency distribution. Form a grouped frequency distribution from the following data by inclusive method, taking 4 as the magnitude of class intervals. The two important things to note here are, we need to solve this by inclusive method and taking 4 as the magnitude of class intervals as opposed to taking exclusive method and 4 as the magnitude of class interval in the previous video. Now here we've got the data given here. Here the minimum and the maximum values of the variate are 10, the minimum being 10 that is here and the maximum being 38. So the range 38 minus 10 is 28. So therefore the magnitude anyways the magnitude is given as 4 already the magnitude of the class interval is said to be taken we need to take it as 4 so the number of class intervals will be 28 divided by 4 that is equal to 7 so now we take 10 as the lower limit of the first class interval since the frequency distribution is to be formed by inclusive method so the class intervals are it's like this 10 to 13 14 to 17, 18 to 21, and so on. So now, based on the above set things, or based on these things, let us now construct a grouped frequency distribution. Remember, 10 to 13 and 14 to 17, not 13 to 17 or 13 to 16, because this is inclusive method. This includes both the lower limit and the upper limit of the class interval. So now we write here as the class interval. Then we write the tally marks. Then as we all know it is a frequency. So now the class interval is going to be 10 to 13, 14 to 17, 18 to 21, 22 to 25, 26 to 29, 30 to 33, 34 to 37 and the last one is 38 to 41 so repeating it again this is by inclusive method so now let us continue with the tally marks now 10 to 13 we've got 5 of it 14 to 17 we've got 8 of it and 18 to 21 again we've got 8 of it and 22 to 25 we've got 7 of it and 26 to 29 we've got 5 of it and 30 to 33 we've got 4 of it and 34 to 37 we've got 2 of it and 38 to 41 we've just got 1. So the frequency is just converting the tally marks into numbers here. So we've got 5 here we've got 8 we've got 8 again we've got 7 we've got 5 we've got 4 we've got 2 and we've got 1. And you add this 5, 8, 8, 7, 5, 4 to 1, we get 40. So 40 is the number of readings that we've got here. So this problem is constructing a grouped frequency distribution from the given data by inclusive method. That's the most important thing. That's how this is different from the previous problem.